Uh, there's a couple different ways we can do this. One way is to eliminate. We know on the left side we have a fraction. The right side we don't have a fraction, correct? Yes. So it's probably easier to eliminate a fraction rather than to create a fraction. So why don't, what would happen, guys, if I just divided the cosine into both these terms? That wasn't bad, right? Now, we also could have done another way, though. Some of you might not think about that. Another way that I want to also recognize you, because maybe what if you can't distribute it? Also think about it, guys. Sometimes it just takes multiplying by a certain value. So for instance, let's do this another way. 1 plus sine of x over cosine of x equals secant of x plus tangent of x. Now, let's pretend maybe I couldn't simplify this, but I want to get rid of this. So what, what trigonometric expression should I multiply by cosine? What trigonometric expression should I multiply by cosine to get it to 1? Secant. So what if I multiplied the top and the bottom by secant? I would then get secant of x plus secant of x times sine of x all over 1. Right? And really, what is secant? Secant is really what? 1 over cosine. So 1 over cosine times sine is? Tangent, sine over cosine. So secant of x plus tangent of x. So there's two different ways you guys could have done that same problem. All right. The reason why I want to show you that one way is, um, again,